New this morning, as new COVID cases fall across Georgia and across the country, some online are using evidence that the Omicron variant appears to cause milder illnesses as a reason to think that all future strains of the virus will be weaker. But is that really the case? Liza Lucas talks to experts and verifies. It's a claim that's resurfaced online. Social media posts suggesting viruses always weaken as they mutate and that we should expect the same from COVID-19. But is that true? Let's verify. Our sources include the World Health Organization, Dr. Ted Ross with the University of Georgia, and state epidemiologist Dr. Sherry Drinzek with Georgia Department of Public Health. When a virus enters a human cell, they replicate themselves. And when they do that, they have a tendency over time to make mistakes. Those mistakes or mutations refer to a change in a virus's genetic code. They happen frequently. Most mutations are tiny and insignificant. Some new combinations don't even work, causing the virus to weaken and strains to die out. In general, viruses tend to not want to kill their hosts before they transmit it to the next person. So there is uh, adaptations that occur to make it more humanized. But experts say that sometimes mutations can make the virus better at spreading or better at causing disease. The general blanket statement that they always adapt and mutate and therefore if they mutate they become less pathogenic is not correct. So the claim that viruses always weaken as they mutate, that's false. Factors like vaccines can also impact how a virus evolves. Even if we cannot predict what variant is next, I can predict that our immune systems are really smart and uh, vaccination just makes them smarter than ever. With your Verify, I'm Liza Lucas. If you hear or see something online you'd like us to verify, just send us an email or you can text Verify to the number there on your screen.